what are some good places to take your service dog in training to go and work on their ah, <laughs> work on their skills? Let's talk about some of the ones I've done with Theo. So Theo here is a fully certified golden retriever who is <laughs> you're so cute. Um, who is very cute and very needy. But we had a lot of work to get here. And one thing I see a lot of people do, and I did this too, is I wanted to start at like ground a thousand. So I wanted to like take him to a grocery store day one and just like go for it. That's a big environment for him. So it's a lot better to start at places that are not quite so overwhelming and start small. But to find those places are tricky. So the first thing you want to do is start practicing things just in your house, down your street, that sort of stuff. Desensitization. Then after that, you're going to want to start with smaller places. So, for example, not the largest pet store in your area, not like the biggest mall nearby. Somewhere that's like a little bit small, has some space, gives him some practice. So for Theo and I, we did start with grocery stores and then pulled back once we realized that was a mistake. And then instead, we tried places like a local pet store, um, a hardware store when it was like kind of the off season and like a quiet time. So I just called ahead and asked. I was like, hey, when are you usually the least busy? And would you mind if I come in with my dog to practice some training? I'm pretty used to it because most of them are pet friendly anyway. And then beyond that, we tried other places like restaurants. So I would go places that had a dog friendly patio to start. And then we worked our way inside where he had to behave a lot better, obviously. Ultimately, the best place to practice is at home because it has the least distractions. It's where you can get most of his attention to start. And then long term, you want to move to those busier places. Now, some good kind of advanced places to go to are places like grocery stores on a Saturday or Sunday when it is busy. I would never go to one at that time as a person. I just it's too many people for me. But with Theo, once in a while, we'll walk in, do a quick lap and leave Like, because it's too much for me. But it is good to get him used to the idea of that because you never know when it's going to come up. Same for pet stores. Pet stores are one of the best places to test your dog because it is full of all of their favorite things. So where you might think a grocery store or a busy mall is like a better place. Realistically, he is the least focused in a pet store when he is trying to subtly sniff out all of the pig's ears he can find or when he's looking for like, I don't know, the yummiest treats. So if you can keep their focus there, keep all of the things happening, especially when other dogs come in, which is a big thing for service dogs is practicing around other dogs and it's hard to find them usually. Pet stores are a really good place for that. Now, again, if you don't want to have other dogs around, call ahead, pop in quickly, see if there's dogs, decide if you bring your dog in. Tons of options there. And you can always call ahead to ask if companies are okay with it. 